This is section 10 of Mark Twain's Journal Writings, Volume 1, by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Newsletter and California Advertiser, June 13, 1868, Important to Whom It May Concern, by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. Mrs. Editors, I was expecting to sail for New York in the Pacific Mail Steamship Company's steamer of the 18th June, but unforeseen circumstances compel a delay of a few days. I cannot sail till the 30th of the month. It is therefore proper that I should give this notice to those friends who have entrusted articles to my care for delivery to their relatives in the Atlantic States, so that they can send by parties who sail on the 18th such of them as demand expedition. I will give a list of the things I am speaking of, and those which will admit of delay until the 30th can remain in my possession. One violin, one double-barreled gun, one package books, one ditto sheet music, negro ballads, one set casters, vinegar cruet missing, two scratch wigs for repair, one woman, seven boxes and one barrel or specimens, one amalgamating pan for repair, one parrot, one pup, one cage canaries, two dead, another woman, eighteen mining company prospectuses marked please circulate, one valise, appears to be nothing in it, six photographs consigned to different parties, one volume Tennyson, one white woman, one box salve, two accordions, one overcoat, one set chessmen, one cow, one sandalwood fan, one rosewood dressing case, four meerschaum pipes, two specimen pins, some grass widows, one hoe steam press for repairs, one unabridged dictionary, nine band boxes, one lunatic for asylum, one idiot for Paris, one gridiron, one baby, sixty-eight letters, one package gold coin, one ditto greenbacks, twenty-three trunks, another woman. Besides these articles, I have to carry along a valise for myself and a jug, and I may be discommoded unless some of the things go by the steamer of the 18th. The baby is not well, and appears to get worse all the time. I think maybe it has got the mumps, or the consumption, or something of that kind. Those are things I do not know anything about. It must be one of those, because I have doctored it for fits and measles and all those things but still she grows worse. She had better go by the steamer of the 18th. I do not think she will keep for the 30th. To tell the plain truth, I am sorry I agreed to take this baby along. A baby is too troublesome, altogether too troublesome. I have had a baby at sea, and I know. Once I had twins on a ship, and I never suffered so much in my life. Please come and take this one, and ship it per steamer of the 18th. Most of the articles had better go at the same time, especially the cow and the idiot. If I were relieved of those, I could take some more women, and maybe another trunk or two. Mark Twain End of Important to Whom It May Concern by Mark Twain Read by John Greenman